Next, we will introduce a new function called the arc cotangent. Let's recall the cotangent of x function and its graph. And let's answer the following questions. Is this function one-to-one? -one? The answer is no, because it doesn't pass the horizontal line test. Does this function have an inverse? The answer is also no, because only one-to-one -one functions have inverses. Now, let's make a new function, g of x, from the cotangent of x function by restricting the domain of the cotangent to the open interval between 0 and pi. Is this function 1 to 1? Yes, because it passes the horizontal line test. Does this function have an inverse? Also yes, because all 1 to 1 functions have inverse functions. And here's what it looks like. What is this function? This function is not any of the functions that we already know, so we give it a name the arc cotangent of x function. Let's take a look at this new function and its graph. The domain of this function is from negative infinity to positive infinity, and the range of this function is from 0 to pi inclusive. We should be able to find the output of this function for any input in the domain using the graph or a calculator. However, the outputs for some nice inputs we should be able to figure out analytically. For example, let's find the arc cotangent of 1. We're looking for some value that is between 0 and pi, such that the cotangent of that value is 1. There are infinitely many values for which the cotangent is equal to 1. However, only one of them is in the desired interval. Therefore, the arc cotangent of 1 is pi over 4. Let's find the arc cotangent of the cotangent of 4 pi over 3. We're looking for some value that is between 0 and pi, such that the cotangent of that value is the same as the cotangent of 4 pi over 3. There are infinitely many values for which the cotangent is equal to the cotangent of 4 pi over 3. However, only one of them is in the desired interval. Therefore, the arc cotangent of the cotangent of 4 pi over 3 is pi over 3. We introduced a new function called the arc cotangent and discussed some of its properties.